Well, uh, the snow stop. There's the good part. There's you that. You are a rain gauge half full kind of guy. I, like that. <laughs> I really yes, am. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you, tonight it's going to be really cold, but the winds will be light and at least it'll be dry. So if you're venturing out, be bundled up and you'll be okay. 12 and clear at 7 o'clock, 10 at 9 p.m., down to 7 by 11 p.m. And let me just kind of put it in perspective. Our normal low is 32. We were three this morning, which was a record low. We'll be three again tomorrow morning. And within spitting distance of the all-time coldest reading of two below zero back in 1917. So we'll see what happens. 18 was the high today. Three the low. 80 is the record high. And seven was the old record back in 1991. The normal high is at 60 currently. 22 downtown, but 17 at the airport. The pressure is at 30.22. The winds are out of the south at 6, and the wind chill is at 9 degrees. Okay, around the nation, this is the big high that's spinning those Santa Ana winds into California. It's also the big high that's brought the cold air down across Colorado, producing snow now out in Kansas and parts of Missouri. Tonight, that system is going to slowly move toward the east. Will be clear and cold by morning. Snow heading up toward Wisconsin and northern Illinois. This will be a minor little system. It will just graze us on Friday without a whole lot to worry about. So the main story tonight is just clear and cold. And it will indeed be very cold. Five below at Aspen and Leadville. Uh, one below zero out at Lyman. Three here in Denver. And a few sub-zeros out here on the plains. Fort Morgan and Byers and up toward Platteville. It'll be six below up at Grand Lake. So some cold stuff indeed. Very cold tomorrow with clear skies. Guys. Then, as the day goes on, we're thawing out by lunchtime with sunshine. And in the afternoon, it'll be dry for trick-or-treat, although some high clouds northwest as that weak little system begins to get closer. 43 for a high tomorrow in Denver, 46 down at Colorado Springs. Front range numbers will be even some low 50s up around Evergreen for tomorrow. That's because the cold air is denser. It kind of slides down the hill a little bit and holds more on the eastern plains. So it's three tonight with record cold. Old mark is 10 in 1991 for October 31st. Tomorrow, cold early, then sunny, milder, and 43. Looking ahead, temperatures will be uh, okay for trick-or-treat after that record cold morning. It does look like we're going to be seeing readings uh, probably be right around 32 or so for trick-or-treat time with light winds expected. Looking ahead the rest of seven days, slightly cooler Friday, but then back to 45 Saturday, 57 on Sunday, and 50s even close to 60 next week with no storms in the seven day forecast, the seven to 10 day forecast might be a little different story, but let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> That's oh, a good we're idea. not. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike.